Hey guys, cool blonde right back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. I'm Calvin. And we're back with Dr. Stone. We have yet another power source. Cotton candy. That's not the power source. No, oh. but that'll get us to a cell phone eventually. But now we have a water wheel. Thank mm -hmm. goodness for cotton candy. It's a hydroelectric generator. electricity generating water wheel. Yeah, they got to make a battery though. Mm -hmm. Eric, what are you doing? It doesn't work yet. What? Your fingers? What is that? Oh, we do this. It's New Year's and Christmas and Santa's real. And Santa is depetrified. <laughs> I don't know what that was, why that was it's there. Just, it was Christmas. Yeah. The same thing with the sulfuric acid thing. Like we see it. We can see Christmas. It's Father didn't Christmas. Have enough reindeer, though. I didn't like that. We lost a couple. Well, yeah, it's, no, you're, it's you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> Santa, what? <laughs> it's like the uh, the displays that people put in their front yard. They don't actually have like all the reindeer. They just have like a couple. I suppose. Like the light up ones. I never had them all. <laughs> um. Yeah, man. What if? I mean, it won't. But that'd be a hell of a thing if Santa's the cause. The cause. Yeah. I love the idea of like. Well, the, the origin world of the was, blast was in South. Uh, be Africa, anywhere at right? any time. It was South America. He can be thousands of places. I thought it was South Africa, but I. He can go over the entire world in one night, Calvin. You think that's a bit big deal to him? Yeah. Way started in South America. Okay. okay. So he just went around the whole world. <sighs> he just started tired of people. everybody being naughty. Could be. He's or, singing that Bob Dylan song. He's the only one that wasn't. And he's just like delivering presents to all these stone children. Oh, that's Very sad. sad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine if we got unstoned and there's presents there? Yeah. What do you want, Calvin? I want you to acknowledge that you giggled at that. I don't know Bob joke. Dylan's songs. But then all the chimneys of cars. Oh, you know that song, though. Well, you can get through them still. You have sent it. Yeah, but there so are no chimneys to get through. If there's a crack, you can be like, ah, it's a chimney. Go in. <laughs> if there's a crack, we'll call it a chimney and go yeah. in. We got batteries, we got air pumps, we got vacuum tubes almost. Yeah. Man. But light bulbs. Light bulbs are a huge achievement. Yeah. It's Especially great. just using bamboo filaments. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Dude, how big is this phone going to be? I mean, it's going to be the size of the house. There's well, no way they're going to make a much. phone like this big. I mean, I yeah. figure it's going to be like World War II backpack style thing. Come in, yeah. come in. Like a field radio. Yeah. Shh. Yeah, that's what I figure as well. Will be the portable unit, and then there will be a tower, tower somewhere. Home home. Yeah, they got to be able to give something, or I don't know. I don't know why I assume that they're going to be like giving a radio to like the inside people too, but maybe not. Kaiju and Yuzuri. Uh, Yuzuri. Yuzuri. It's probably a bad idea. Bad. Especially if it's the size of his table. Oh, like, how are you going to hide yeah. that? Yeah. No, yeah. You just have to put it somewhere where they don't look for it, I guess. <laughs> That's how you hide things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, as long as you can coordinate your attack. Like, Alexander and Napoleon won so many battles just being where the enemy did not expect them. Mm -hmm. And just broke them around, and they just won. That's yeah. how I would win StarCraft matches. Yeah. The guy that I won't expect me... Attacking the mineral line while I'm attacking the front door. Ha -ha. <laughs> yeah, I just wonder how many like receivers of that information they'll need. Sure. You know, because they're just they're so outnumbered. Yeah. Now, I don't know exactly how many people there are in the Kingdom of Strength, but they're certainly like all of them are able fighters. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. Whereas we have a bunch of old yeah. people and children. Yeah. In the Kingdom of Science. Sure. Sukasa would not suffer a weak link. Yeah. I mean, uh, Gein is not exactly a fighter, you know, mm, necessarily. Sure. And I don't know if the blonde in the nest but he is has a fighter. But he has a strong mind. He does have a strong Kingro mind. And Kingro. Magma. We get Magma fighting. Can we he trust Magma? Good. He wow, like that's we're gonna find out, yeah. right? I imagine we're gonna come back and they're gonna be splunking, not like sure. we just saw the splunking video game thing and then they come back and have it. Like I wonder how much like will there be some drama? Will there be some chaos? Will there be a, a lake incident where like 
Chrome and Senku are dangling off a ledge, like Chrome needs to save them yeah. or not save them. Rather than Magma. Magma. Rather than Ginro, who, like, showed up and saved the day. Yeah. yeah. Like, will Magma let them live or die kind of thing? Yeah, I don't know. They I mean, need a canary. Hopefully, in reverse. Like, it'd be awesome if Magma's in trouble and Synchro and Chrome save Magma. Could be. Kind of bringing him more into the fold. But he has been helping with his little... His little... Ab- yeah, Ab- shit! Ab- Ab- Abysmal, dude. Yeah. Well, like, uh, the old man says, right? You know, I think everyone pretty much is so glad that you're here. Like, life is just yeah. getting so much better. Well, he had an easy them. life for 60 years, but now he has a life of passion and purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, like, getting to have the benefits of the fruits of their labor. You know, they're having better food with the rum, and they're yeah, having dude. electricity. Ken- Kenro not being able to s- truly celebrate how happy he was that he <laughs> doesn't have to spend that thing anymore. <laughs> it is, it does, it's such a perfect character moment. Because you can tell, he's happy, but he doesn't want people to see him yeah. not willing to do his part. Like, he know? would have done it forever. Yeah. But he's so happy to not have that burden anymore. Now they just get to train all that. And have swords too, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. To fight and practice with swords rather than spears. Yeah, which, like, I figure there's not going to be any scientific advancements in Sukasa's place between then and now. Like, they might just have more people. Uh, yeah, maybe they're just going to have numbers. I mean, yeah, numbers, possibly some, like, basic armor, basic weapons. Weapon stuff. Yeah. Like, they might wake up had, some archers or something. The one guy had that spear, the spear that was yeah. with the. Yeah, Thanks. I saw that one guy in his camp that does have a bow. Yeah, because I feel like archery and slings are dangerous for the kingdom of science. Yeah, if they're accurate. True. I okay. mean, it's not but, too hard to build a b- accurate bow. Yeah. I mean, like the people shooting it are very accurate. Yeah, you know, but numbers they're, are. Really like if you have that, they're, they're really thirty helps. archers, they don't have to be super accurate. I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> I just you think can like dark in the skies with arrows. <laughs> if you awaken just like a group of random people from the modern day, like today, yeah. how many of those people can shoot a bow fairly True. accurate? You know, I don't, I don't know what the answer is on that. Yeah. Well, how many, how much time would they need to go from no experience to being pretty accurate? Sure. Yeah. Right. But well, we have well, and with winter coming in here. Yeah. Like the good thing for them is they don't have to penetrate armor, yeah. so they're not going to have to necessarily build up the muscles. To pull the bow too much, like a war bow. Sure. So it's just about learning the aiming. Like, a kitty bow that has, like, 15, 20-pound pull will still stick an arrow in you. Yeah, they just look like, like a, shit. a hunting bow, yeah. basically, for flesh. Archers back in the day were real strong. Oh, yeah. Uh, war bowmen, yeah, definitely. Yeah. What was it? There was something I was reading or someone I was talking to or something like that. I don't think it was us. We talking about, like, one of the kings back in the day, like, made it, like, law that boys growing up at a certain age had to learn how to shoot a bow and arrow that way they all knew how to do archery yep so like they were standing all army strong. but then you get to the actual like people who were bowmen bowmen and they yeah. were like the stronger yeah. like, football players like, no, I they believe were, English was, longbowmen was you know. a occupation <laughs> yeah. if you were good at it you were valuable yeah I think it might have been Edward the first but yeah there was a day of the week that was set aside for archery I think practice. It was, I think someone told me it was Sunday after church or something like that. That might be Everyone right. went and your, all the sons would learn how to shoot bows. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow. But yeah, I don't know. I think it was because of the Robin Hood stuff. I think I might have been talking with like Timmy or something about it. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But yeah. He compared like longbowmen to being like football players of the day. Like, but yeah. It was just like, like I think it was... they had to be strong to pull back so many pounds of it you would know. have been Henry II and Edward I, because by the time Edward III came around, that's when you have, like, Agincourt and English dominance with the longbow. Mm-hmm. And they discovered... Oh, power flicker. Is it there? Yeah. It's still flicking a tiny bit. I know. Um, the uh, battery backup, the UPS over there, transferred. I saw that there was going to be a lot of power stuff in Parkersburg today. They were, like, taking stuff down. I don't know about here. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, the development of, of laminated bows and stuff would be real good for Tsukasa. You, you would... Laminate them? Yeah, they found those on, like, the Magna Carta. Are those, like, some of the earlier... Not the Magna Carta. Shoot. What's the name of that ship? That sounds like Magna Carta. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's gone. You said Magna Carta, <laughs> and that's the only thing I can think of. It's not that. Shoot. Um, I can't remember the name of the boat. But a boat from that era sank, and that's, like... We have longbows from then that are yeah. laminated, and that's some of the first like evidence we have of 
Those so you you have a really rigid, stiff wood in the front, and you have a softer, spongier wood in the back that can compress. So the stiffer wood stretches around the spongier wood, and it makes the bow uh, flex evenly rather than like snapping in the middle. And it also makes it to where it returns to its shape. So yew wood is really good for that because the heartwood is spongy, but the outside wood, or rather the um, the heartwood is really stiff and strong, but the outside wood, the new growth, is spongier. Mm-hmm. So if you if you um, stretch a string on it and stuff like that, it, it's like great. And then, then you just adjust the the thickness of the wood to determine how strong the pull is. is yeah. Bows are great. They also need husbandry. Like yeah. That. Learning how to breed animals. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like, would there be any wild horses at this time in Japan? I mean, there's were horses in time of the they samurai. Could have yeah. been eaten by lions. So, yeah, maybe. Because they lions aren't natural to Japan, right? That's true. They but could be extinct being from by now. Zoos and breaking free and breeding. Yeah. There could be a lot more lions around than there were yeah. horses because they were they were just the top of the food chain eating everything. If they, like if the kingdom of strength had a cavalry, like yeah, I don't know what you. I don't know if radio well, will help either. I mean, they, they are on an island, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you could siege them, yeah, right, yeah. and stop them from gathering food. Like they do have um, the possibility of the lake freezing over, so you could maybe shod your horses in like ice cleats and then like ride fire arrows, village, yeah, like get in, get out, lightning attack style, and, and do a lot of damage that way. They need to build, but also science is planning on attacking Sukasa as well. Yeah, and Sukasa is trying to prepare to make strike. sure that there is a, if there is a primitive strike, that they're ready as well. So mm-hmm. we probably won't get to that. Either we'll succeed in the fight, or we'll lose. In sure. which case, I don't know what happens. Yeah, now I'm really curious to see how it goes, and if they're able to convince Sukasa to their side, or is he like banished from Japan and goes elsewhere? Do they kill him? Like, what's his fate? I still also am curious if we're going to see some of the, uh, what were they, German people or Russian people that, like, went off on their mm-hmm. boat and yeah. went to, like, the mainland or whatever and yeah. worked with the main grouping. Mm-hmm. Like, they could have just died, but maybe Dalian. there's yep. a few people of, like, they had more kids or something and survived elsewhere or something, you know? That'd be really cool. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just it, wanting to keep that as an option to keep that in mind because, like, it, it could happen. And like, then, like... two of them, right? There's only two. So I don't know if they could have survived as I don't long think as they could. They could have they, had I mean, genetic diversity. I don't think but, six people could have had it, yeah. but sure. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's possible. Like, you know, people in space were fine, but maybe there's also people in underground bunkers. You know, or people who sure were in this situation What's also are fine. Obviously, high enough it wasn't reaching. Was there yeah. a low enough Was there a low enough? Reaching? If sure. people were in their basement, did they get hit by if it? If there were people like uh, James Cameron in the Marianas Trench, would they have been affected? That means James, like, you know what, the people in space were safe, but also the people in this underwater thing Submarine. Were, yeah, yeah, were safe too, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Or some other know. reasoning. Some kind of thickness of wall, some kind of vault, some kind of, you know. Sure. We were inside this bank vault, and it protected us. Yeah, I don't know. Or some kind of, like, Faraday cage or something like sure. that, you know. Something that would shield. Like, I, I don't know what the energy was. But they was. would probably just be kind of like the people here, right? Like, they eventually would be less, I don't know. Or aliens. Thank you for watching this reaction to Dr. Stone. If you want to check out the next four episodes, we have those available right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. The link is down in the description. We also have full length. You can watch the entire reaction along with us, supplying your own footage, of course. Check out all the other links down there, twitch.tv slash blindwave as well. We stream six days a week.